With our art, we go to people on the streets because when we perform in our art centers, nobody sees us. Only the people in high places come to see us there. But we want to be seen by Congolese people, Africans like us. My name is Patrick Itete. I'm an artist in Daku Yalavi Ebel. I'm self-taught performer. I didn't go to art school. I've now been doing art for seven years. In the heart of Kinshasa's famous art neighborhood Matonge lies the artist collective Ndaku Yalavi Ebel, the house of beautiful life. Here, the artist residencies are for artists like Patrick, self-taught but wanting to dedicate their lives to the arts. In the past, it was difficult for people to understand. When I went back home, everyone would come and they would even call to say, where are you? I'd tell them, I'm at home, and they would say, no, you're not at home. You've been at the river or looking through the trash. But after a while, I started explaining to them, no, my art is not trash. I recycle trash and turn it into art. And slowly, they started to understand. While his family and community have accepted his choice, appreciation for his work in terms of financial gain is hard to come by. The DRC's art world is largely self-organized in collectives like these, or supported through the efforts of more successful Congolese artists, as well as a handful of foreign art initiatives. For the artists here, paid performances and the chances to sell their artworks are far and few. There are always difficulties. There are people who come here and say, I'll buy this for 500 euros. They take it and afterwards we see that they sell it for 25,000, 30,000 euros. And there is no fair remuneration for the creator of the work of art. Because we have children, we have houses to rent and families. For Kitete, his mirrors are his armor. They force him to question himself, life, the status quo. Africa was united, but later the colonialists came and divided us like a cake. When you are in front of a broken mirror, you are not going to see yourself in full. So this is what has happened to Africa and specifically Congo. At the same time, the mirror also shows us the beauty. We've been called sorcerers, delinquents, but afterwards, after watching us by staying with us, they understood us. We also do a great service for our city. We pick up the trash on the road and turn it into art in order to restore Kin Labelle, Kinshasa, the beautiful. Because right now our city is filled with trash.